For Chinese ancient cloth, sitting in the traditional Chinese tea house. Let's take a time travel back to ancient China to explore the custom and stories behind the Dragon Boat Festival. Hi, I'm Xiao from Ai Chongqing. Today is the Dragon Boat Festival, so we invite our friends. We're a lot. Yeah, uh, George. Hi. Yeah, from Chongqing University, and Maggie from Yu Dian Da Xue. Yeah, and Fred, George's brother. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna experience the Dragon Boat Festival together to get to know the custom, the story, and the, all the traditions behind it. Uh, so I've been, I've come from the UK. Yeah. I've been in Chongqing less than 24 hours. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we had a very beautiful walk here, this old town, um, and I'm already in these traditional clothes. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm very intrigued. To see you what look, will happen. You look quite, yeah? quite yeah? cool. Yeah. I, I feel good actually. Can I keep this afterwards? Like, can I? Keep, is it mine or no? Uh, let's ask see. But yeah. well, let's see. I'm excited about what we're going to learn today because I don't speak Mandarin and I don't know anything mm -hmm. really about the Dragon Boat Festival. It's the first time I've ever heard mm -hmm. of this, so I'm I'm very excited actually. Okay, we will see later. See. Yeah. yeah. So it's my fourth year in China, and I have never been in the. Uh, Dragon Boat Festival. Yeah. So it's my first time. I don't know anything about it, and I never tr tried on this kind of traditional Chinese Beautiful, clothes. Yeah, one, yeah, I like it. It's uh, very mm, comfortable. <laughs> so I'm very excited uh, and looking forward to know something new about Dragon Boat Festival. Okay. Cool. And for, for me, I already know a few details uh. about about some of the some of the culture and about the about the Dragon Boat Festival, but. I, I want to learn more. <laughs> so how do you and feel I'm about it? Yeah, yeah and I'm, very, well, I'm very excited as well for, my, for my, my brother just coming here and just being able to totally learn everything about yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. But it's the first time that I've, or, although I've been in China for um, a few years, it's the first time I've worn the Hanfu <laughs> hanf 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 yeah. clothes. So, yeah. so and you brought so it the first time and got a chance to wear so it. So, yeah, he's, yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> how, did that, how did that yeah. happen? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, cool. So, <laughs> yeah, let's go start. There are masters are waiting for us okay. inside. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, uh, details. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this is really cool. And the. Yeah. 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 Because in England we drink tea with milk sometimes. Ah, yeah. So so this is is different for me. But. Mmm. It's very nice. Thank you. Cheers. It, normally we don't have um... The Dragon Boat Festival falls on the fifth day of the fifth month of the lunar calendar. It is one of the most important Chinese festivals. The festival has been celebrated for thousands of years to commemorate Chu Yuan, a great patriotic poet who lived in the state of Chu during the Warring States period. During the festival, families Han Ai Chao, a warm wood on their doors for protection and keeping away the mosquitoes. The drinking of Riaga wine is also thought to remove poisons from the body. Dragon boat races would be held and people should eat zongzi, a glutinous rice dumplings wrapped in bamboo or red leaves. <laughs> I think it was, it was 
very interesting to learn about how to make the Zongzi and about the tradition for the Dragon Bow Festival. But to be very honest with you, it's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. We are but what I found most interesting is about how in China traditionally people use the reed leaves and the medicine uh, to, wash them, to wash themselves and to heal wounds for children. I thought that was very interesting. I'm looking forward to eating it. So today the Dragon Boat Festival and we made Zhongzi, traditional Chinese food. And I think it's very, very difficult to wrap them. I didn't expect this actually. And also today we learned so many things about Chinese traditions in a Dragon Boat Festival, about the poet who uh, sacrificed himself and uh, why Chinese people start to wrap rice and uh, drop, drop them, throw them to the river. And I think it's very interesting to know and so many other traditions that Chinese people do in a Dragon Boat Festival. Oh, For okay. example, yeah. kids, they use... Uh, adults, they wash kids with the special herbs and it's uh, against insects. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, and I'm very glad that we can experience uh, this So, so today we tried to make this and uh, yeah, I, I didn't make this one because I was rubbish, but uh, it, was, <laughs> it was very difficult, but luckily we got to eat them as well and it was very delicious. I ate quite a few, so salty and sweet, so it was really nice and it's been a, a very interesting day and I've, I've learned something as well, so yeah, a lot of fun, so thank you. <laughs>